But before that, a North Yorkshire teacher whose sister took her own life is launching a support group in her hometown of Scarborough for those left behind after suicide. Ros Thompson's sister, Ali, died in 2021, leaving Ros devastated and struggling to cope. Now she wants to help the many other survivors of bereavement by suicide. Carla Fowler has more. Three years ago, Scarborough teacher Ros Thompson's life changed forever. She received a call saying her younger sister, Ali, had taken her own life and she had to go and identify her body. It was devastating and Ros has struggled with the loss ever since. Now she knows she needed specialist support, but the only charity to provide it, Survivors of Bereavement by Suicide or SOBS, had no Scarborough branch. The nearest was York. I was just not in a fit state to travel. I got to a point where I didn't really know who I was anymore. Ali took her life in the July and I didn't really go back to work until after Christmas. Um, I kept thinking I was ready, but I just wasn't. Um, so you do, it can really change yes. the working life and for those people around you, the impact is, is huge. Over time, Ros and husband Mark have met more and more local people affected by suicide and realised many are trying and failing to cope alone. Now, others have joined Ros to form a new branch of SOBS in Scarborough. Any grief is, of course, awful, but with suicide, you've got the added whys, what could I have done, the massive guilt, the I wish I could have done this, why didn't I notice that? And that replays over and over and over in your head. Well, it did mine anyway. Um, and it takes a long time to find a way through that. Ryan lost his brother to suicide when he was just 13. There's just no services for people. There is services for bereavement, but suicide's a different level of bereavement, if only way to describe it correctly, because it's such a raw, powerful thing. It's not many people understand it, so it's, it's basically just through that, like, but through like kinship and finding Rosalind and Cindy. It's peer on peer, so it's not counselling. So we're not counsellors, we are actually volunteers um, of people that have had that sort of, sort of um, experience. It's difficult for everybody how to react to, to someone taking their own life. So in a way, that, that's taken away in the meeting because it's given, you know, so everybody to say, has that common experience and feel less alone. Ali was amazing. If she was in the room, everybody knew she was in the room. Very funny, very loving, um, a complete whirlwind. We miss her. The first meeting of Scarborough's Survivors of Bereavement by Suicide will be next Monday at a private location. Carla Fowler, BBC Look North, Scarborough.